Hey, what's up my Koopa Troop? It's Koopa Kung Fu, bringing you another episode of Pokemon Fire Red. Let's -a play, let's -a play, let's -a play, let's -a go. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that intro. Guys, that is one of, it's one of my proudest crowning achievements, and I'm going to tell you why. That intro was just something random I found online. I found that video, um, that Japanese ad for the uh, the DS and the Mario Kart DS and I don't know what came into me I just I just found it hilarious because I saw that that creepy pet of face and oh yeah by the way I beat all these people I just saw it and I was like that is so creepy like how could they put that in an ad like I, how, I my actually my biggest question is how do you make that face that face was insane um so weird oh I ran into that sign didn't mean to I was gonna go buy some repels because we don't want to deal with the ghost up there too much. If we can help it. They actually are pretty useful to train, but they can be kind of obnoxious. So, super repels are on the menu. Let's just get a good old 10 of them. Yeah, 5,000 bucks. Why not? So, I saw that intro, and I, I mean, I just saw it. I made that intro. I put, I made the little, I made the music myself, guys. I like to dabble in music. Um, a lot of you guys have probably tell, seen because I've put music on the channel. Um, if you guys didn't notice, I actually have deleted all the music and taken it down, and the reason is because I just don't want to risk getting a strike on my channel. None of the videos had a strike or anything against them, but I just really want to keep this channel copyright strike free, and so therefore not, you know, no harm, no foul, because I'm trying to get a partnership with, actually not YouTube, I could care really less about a YouTube partnership on this current channel. I'd love one on the other channel, on uh, my second channel, but um... On this channel, not so much. I want a TGS partnership. I really want to get with TGS and make videos for them and make a little money with them. So that's that's the ideal. And yeah, he has bite. I was thinking about what Ace has, but he's got bite, so he can handle the ghost up here. Look away, look away. I'm trying to grab this Pokeball. Look away. You bitch. Okay, she never looked away. But yeah, that's my goal. And so hopefully we'll keep moving up on that and getting closer and I don't know if we'll ever be able to get to that because that's a lofty goal guys but we'll keep working on that and she's got a ghastly and I have an ace that knows bite and the gas is going to die they're all super effective so ace is going to have just a free for all with this place even buggy knows um, pursuit so buggy would be fine too so we're not really worried about anything in this tower whatsoever and she's saved. I mean, she's got the kind of what the fuck face on, so I do have the silk scope, so I'm not too worried about the ghost in this tower. Oh, it's a dead end. How cute, game. How cute. You know, whoever arranged these gravestones was a giant asshole. Like, there's no way. Like, imagine your loved one died, and you want to go find their grave. Like, how the hell are you going to find it? There's clearly no marking system. They're not organized in rows like every other grave in the world is arranged. There's no, like, memorial. It's just tombstones. And you're walking over dead Pokemon bodies. Like, creepy. Yeah, thanks. And why aren't they buried in, the, like, the ground? Do they, like, make artificial ground and then bury them? Or is there, like, no dead bodies here and these just tombstones are just memorials? Well, that second option makes more sense, but it still doesn't explain why the fuck they would build everything in crappy-ass lines. Like, look at this. Is this, my, is this my buddy? Is this my buddy? Is this my dead friend? Like, how are you ever gonna know? How and you can't even check that one in the back corner over there. Look at that. Like that one you see what I'm to point out this one in the far right here? I will never know. Maybe that's my maybe that's my dead buddy's tombstone. Like, thanks, asshole game. Now I never know. You know? So if your Pokemon dies, don't bring them here. They won't treat them right at all. This is a terrible terrible cemetery cemetery, crematory, whatever you want to call it. It's just bad. It's just bad. And we get these people with toothbrushes. Uh, Swiffer sweepers. I don't know what they're carrying. Uh, it doesn't matter. They, they're going to get their ass kicked. I'm not really sure why we're so over-leveled. I mean, I have five Pokemon that are like truly on my team. And you guys have seen, I don't really battle everyone. Every once in a while, I'll go back and battle people. But like, we're just so over-leveled. You know, and it's not like I've been training like a ton or outside of the game or anything so it blows me away that we are so much stronger than everyone here I mean these people are only level 22 like that's so sad <laughs> so sad 
They all have one Pokemon too and they expect it to beat my entire crew of six. It's just not going to happen. Gastly's are cool Pokemon and I really, really actually do love Gengar. I think it's a sweet Pokemon. Fast speed and pretty decent special attack. I mean, it makes him a pretty powerful Pokemon. Too bad his defense sucks, but, you know, that's okay. The reason I never get him is because of the stupid trading thing in this game. Like, I don't know, guys. It was just like, it just so happened that because you had a trade, I just, I, it just hurt me, you know? I could never really walk past him. Yeah. Here's the healing space. Room. This is the fastest healing spot in the entire game, and I love it. Back in the day, I used to do so much training um, here. Like, you would just pull weak Pokemon, sit here, just train, 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 just step on and heal. It was the quickest way to train, quickest way to heal, and so very convenient. I'd bring one strong Pokemon up and five weak ones and just, like, just train. You know, like, you could get pretty fast. The gases aren't too bad. The only problem is gases are really obnoxious with their confusing and stuff, but they have really bad defense. They die pretty quickly, so you could level up pretty quickly in this area so that was nice please don't see me Ooh, found a nugget that was worth my trouble oh damn she caught me in a corner can you imagine if she, i i'm sure the game programmed it so it wouldn't screw you up but if she had seen me one step earlier i would have been stuck in that corner gang banged by her that would have been terrible absolutely terrible oh, i don't even know how you bite ghost like they're just gas, right? How the hell do you bite gas? That doesn't make sense. I mean, if I lit a candle over there and smoke rises up from it and I go over there and try and chomp on it, nothing's going to happen. Oh, literally, are you kidding? The ghosts have just been waiting to jump on me. Repel wears off and immediately they start trying to hump me. Get off me, you stupid ghastly. That was not cool at all. Not cool, man. So now that we got the stupid ghost off me again, let's keep moving up. We're doing pretty well for ourselves here. I hate like opening, up, walking up these stairs and walking right into someone like looking at you. It's kind of creepy, me, kind of, kind of, kind of bothers me, but can't really help it. Oh, kick, 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 kick. Okay. Oh, uh, what do you have? I bet a ghastly. Woo! There's ghost Pokemon were cool, but they didn't have any in this old version. Uh, no. uh different kinds was just the ghastly and so you really were out of luck i mean i mean i'm glad they've added more ghosts to the uh, lineup i think my favorite sable i just because i think he is pretty cool that it, there's no weaknesses to them but uh i haven't really played enough of the newer games to uh definitively call that one these i mean they come at me making like these gaggy noises like i have bad bo or something like i'm sorry i mean you can just like politely tell me what's going on instead of going Oof. okay something fell out yeah like those balls you've been hiding up in your vagina okay so let's go grab this we found a rare candy sweet and now it's going to come the mare o -whack, whack And it's going to be really sad because it lost its mother or something. I mean, it's a, it's a sad story. It actually like got killed by rockets. It can speak English like Meowth, so uh, maybe it has a backstory too where it couldn't speak and it learned. The ghost appeared on level 30. Ooh, Marowak. Marowaks are actually pretty darn cool, and I totally could catch this mm, I haven't got any of you guys an input yet if you guys want this or not I don't think I will I'm not really interested in a Marowak I don't think so this should take it out pretty quickly yeah I don't know they're interesting Pokemon they're like one of a kind definitely and I do like that um you know, I guess I guess for you guys I will catch it and see if any of you guys want it in the uh, let's play. I'll just I'll catch it and I won't give it a name. I can always just na name it really quickly cuz we're in the town where you Oh, that's right. You can't catch it. Oh. Well, never mind everything I just said. I totally forgot that you couldn't catch it out of respect for its dead mother. I guess all the other Pokémon I've caught in the game don't have any relatives that are dead. 
which is why they're free to be caught and captured and kept in captivity. This one is a free spirit, though, a true hippie, and so it is safe from all of my evil doings. And now that I've killed it, it's calmed again, I guess, or something. But it doesn't really make sense after you faint again. It's calm. But anyways, guys, that'll be the end of this episode of the Let's Play. Um, we've gone almost done. We beat the Marowak. Next episode, we will finish up this tower, move on forward, and hopefully make it down to Snorlax and just keep working our way and getting this Let's Play done. So thanks so much, guys, for keeping track and following along. I really appreciate it. This is Koopa Kung Fu signing out. Peace, guys. Take it easy.